Hello ladies and gentlemen this is chef guru with lauki dal lauki is bottle god and the dal we are using here is 1 cup of arar dal this arar dal we have pressure cooked for 3 whistles along with 4 cups of water 1 teaspoon salt and 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi we'll keep that dal aside and we'll take a pan or a skillet i've taken a kadai here to which i'm adding 1 ladle of desi ghee or clarified butter we are cooking at a low flame right now and when the ghee is hot enough we'll be adding approximately around 1 teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds when the cumin seeds start to splutter we'll be adding ginger garlic paste so we added one large tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and now you can increase the flame from low to a medium to high flame saute the ginger garlic paste until the aroma of the ginger garlic paste wafts through the air we'll add 3 slit green chilies as you can see this is a slit one and we'll saute them along with the ginger garlic paste for around uh, a minute more we'll add around half a teaspoon of salt remember we have already added salt when we were boiling the arar dal so you have to remember that and right now we just added half a teaspoon So the ginger garlic paste has already sent across a lot of aroma in the air right now and now I'll be adding one lauki or bottle gourd which has been peeled washed and diced So if you compare the size of the pieces along with the green chilies next to them you can find out what exactly is the size of these cubes they're not very large they're not very short if they're very short they'll mash up and mix with the dal which is not pretty good if they're pretty big and huge in size these lauki pieces they will not cook properly so make sure you don't have them too large or too small we will now reduce the flame and add a few spices beginning with 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and 1 teaspoon of red chili powder and mix them well make sure you have reduced the flame otherwise uh, these spices will tend to get burnt and our sabzi already looks pretty dry so in order to add some wetness so that these spices don't get burnt we'll be adding just a little water around a, a quarter cup of water and in order to let these loki pieces cook what we'll do is better we'll just cover it with a lid let it cook for around 3 uh, minutes at a very low flame 
so it's been three minutes now and if I try to remove the lid and see what the status is now we can see the oil is oozing out most of the water has dried up and a simple test to check if the low key is, al is actually cooked or not is I can use my ladle and uh, dig into one of these uh, pieces here and it breaks up pretty easily which means uh, which means the low key is now cooked good enough now we'll add the arar dal that we had boiled now let me repeat what we did we pressure cooked this arar dal along with four cups of water one teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder for three whistles and as you can see most of the water has evaporated the dal is pretty well cooked we just mix this up nicely with the low key pieces and we'll add in 4 to 5 cups of water now this totally depends on you at what level of consistency you want the dal to be I want to have this dal along with rice so I feel this level of consistency is good enough for me if at all you want to have these with chapatis or rotis you may add in a little water or no no water at all now please increase the flame from low to medium or high cover with the lid cook for 3 to 4 minutes until you get a boil at a high flame and then reduce the flame cook for 6 minutes at a very low flame it's been almost 10 minutes let's remove the lid and see what the status is it looks pretty good the oil has oozed up to the surface which means our dal is pretty well cooked along with the low key pieces if you want you can taste the dal and find out if it is missing any specific spice most importantly the salt but right now we'll add in one fourth cup of tamarind juice here to prepare this tamarind juice I've taken 50 grams of tamarind dropped it in a cup along with one fourth cup of water and then in the microwave dropped it for around 45 seconds took it off let it cool down at room temperature when it comes extract the tamarind juice using your hands and crushing the tamarind within discard the leftovers and what you are left with is beautiful tangy tamarind juice that we added and if you observe we added tamarind at the extreme end we cover it with the lid and will now cook it for around 3 minutes more it has been almost 3 minutes let's remove the lid and see what we have with us this is an amazing dal very simple to prepare and this is made in every Indian home at least in my home it is made almost at least once a week and I enjoy this with papad, achar, rice it's a delicacy that I always relish ladies and gentlemen arar dal with lauki digged in with steamed rice thank you for watching